Ellsbury from Acrylic Art Paintings. Welcome to my channel. These are leftover acrylic and latex paints that I have added the Elmer's glue already. Now they're all mixed with the Elmer's glue and now I'm going to add water, little by little, like I always do in my previous videos. So I mix it and keep adding water little by little until I get the consistency I'm looking for. And it's like this, see? So you can see it's streamed, it's a stream. There you go. Now, this is very important. Color order matters. So see pink, purple, and then purple has a little blue and then dark blue and then we can use black to put in between two colors that are go that may create uh, brown tones and then black in between these two. And so I can start in either way. I can start either by the green or by the red. In this case, I started with the green. So dark green, then I have this neon yellow. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of bra uh, black. And like I said, a lot of people skip this part and then try it and then when it doesn't work, they complain. But this is a very, very important part. Color order matters, people. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. If you saw my previous video, you saw in there how I mix the the um, the orange, the blue, and the green. And some parts of my paint turned a little muddy or turned brown colors. And so I wanted to show you right there what happens when we mix those colors. So, but now I'm also sharing the order in which I am um, using for this particular project. So I'm just sharing, it's up to you. I mean, this is what I have learned after two years of doing fluid art, but um, that's all I can do, guys. So just share, you know. I just don't want you to waste your paints and make the same mistakes that I have done in the past. So now, they are all ready and I have used a little bit. Hey, did you see? I got my torch. So I ha I'm gonna use it to burst the air bubbles in my uh, black paint that I put in my canvases or this canvas. There we go. Oh boy, did I miss my torch. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start doing the ring pour in this side over here. There we go. And also since this is a lot of paint, you can see that there is another canvas. It's a gesso canvas that, you know, it's kind of my gesso crack when it died when it dried <laughs> and then uh but i'm gonna use it anyway just because you know hey it's a lot of painting here so i don't want to waste it and um so i decided to use a canvas if it works great and if it doesn't oh well i tried so i can um i continue doing the the ring here but I see a lot of orange. Now I'm starting to see some yellow in there. So I think I'm gonna go back right here and do some uh, other colors other than orange. There we go. Awesome. Now I'm ready. Now I'm gonna lift this and I'm going to bring the gesso one to use the drippings. Okay. 
So this one doesn't, we don't have problems uh, with the corners, do we? <laughs> it's so full of paint. <laughs> So there we go. I think um, think it's pretty, it's looking pretty good. Um, and since you saw in last video, if you saw my my last video, I left some paints outside and the they sink the the the, the paint sunk in the in the middle of the pour and so it cracked. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna leave them inside. And I'm going to put a support in the center of the canvas on the bottom side to lift the paint so it will not just all go in the middle. So now with this one, um, there is enough painting here that I'm just going to tilt it as is. So here is my painting fresh and here's the other one that I just tilted and swiped the right side that's why it looks a little bit like that I mean so but I wanted to show you that's what I did that's the support I put in the middle to avoid paint accumulating in that area now the one thing about latex paint is it doesn't uh, may not do very well for art but boy, it creates very nice, easy to peel skins, just like this. See, I didn't put anything in my plastic. So uh, what I'm gonna use is, um, I'm gonna use those skins in this dry pour that I have. And I'm kind of gonna put them like this. And it's just gonna add something different. It's gonna add more live more contrast it's an idea that i got from my friend heather um she moved to arizona last year and uh we've just been having lots of fun now i'm going to use mod podge to glue this paint now if you're like me i cannot draw a straight line even with a ruler so i'm using taping here and i'm going to color I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to paint um, the sides. As you can see there, straight from the bottle. Just a little bit of paint in there. And now I'm going to hand paint. I'm going to do the rest offline. I mean, yeah, off camera. But I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right here. And then... Um, while I'm doing this, this is the part where you guys hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more videos. Now, this is how it looks. It's all dried and varnished. You see what I was saying? How the, the skin adds texture and the color around adds more life. Now, for those who freaked out and said, hey, crack, last, last uh, video, here it is. It dried perfectly, which means that that trick of putting the base and the bottom and the center worked. And this is what I used to varnish it. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, Come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting.